going to talk a little bit about food on the ISS, on the International Space Station. As you can see, we have here our table, our dinner table, where we eat normally every evening on board of the ISS. But of course, we are not in a restaurant here, so dinner does not get served for us. We have to prepare it ourselves. It's a little, little bit like when you go camping. Uh, then as well, you need to prepare everything in advance. You need to make sure that you have everything with you. And then, once you are at the camping site, it's quite easy, but also you need to have to be well prepared to, prepare, to eat. So, dinner is also very important for us for a social occasion, because every evening around this table, we gather with the entire crew, we eat, and we share stories. But now a little bit more about the nutritional aspects of our dinner food. Living in space is a, is a pleasure for any astronaut. However, there are consequences to the human body of living in a weightless environment. Every single organ system in the body is affected in one way or another. So, food and nutrition play an important role in helping us to maintain proper human physiology in a weightless environment. In particular, we're concerned about the effect of weightlessness on muscles and on bones. And as Frank mentioned a minute ago, we live in an uh, isolated and confined environment, so the psychological aspect of eating is, is important. Muscles atrophy in space, so a lot of the food items that we'll describe to you today are high in protein content. That's important and a little bit different than how we would normally eat on Earth. Also, in space, bones tend to uh, demineralize, they lose calcium, so we also need special supplements in our diet to encourage the, uh, the, the proper nutrients to keep uh, bone mass and, and strength. So a lot of the items that we'll be discussing today may be a little bit uh, atypical, might say, seem a little bit imbalanced compared to an Earth diet, but they're perfectly tuned by the nutritionists and the food scientists for astronauts who live for long periods of time in a weightless environment. Yes, indeed, because we get to enjoy all these foods around our dinner. But there are many people on the earth uh, that prepare this for us, that make sure that the food that we're eating is healthy and is the best possible way that uh, we can uh, live here on orbit. So let's discuss a little bit of the food that we have here on the table. Well, we have different types of food. First of all, we have some Russian food. They are usually coming like this in cans. So this is a, a can like you can find in any store, basically. Uh, uh, this one is uh, meat and vermicelli, for example. Uh, and those cans we can eat, eat up in a Russian oven. We have also other type of food, which is uh, sublimated food. These are kind of package, uh, packages uh, from which all the water has been uh, withdrawn. And then how, we, how do you prepare this food? Well, we just simply add hot water. A little bit like uh, you have instant soups or uh, instant meals that you can prepare on ground. Other types of food are thermal stabilized food. This is food which has uh, been cooked and prepared and then sealed in an airtight uh, envelope uh, and treated with uh, high temperature or perhaps with radiation so that no bacteria can divide or reproduce inside the food. This type of food has a shelf life of many, many, many months. The example that I just showed you uh, was homemade potatoes. Another example, one of my favorites, is pears. And uh, in a few minutes, I'll probably uh, try to sample some of these. All of these foods are specially processed uh, at a lab in uh, Houston at the Johnson Space Center or at Star City in Russia, uh, not too far from Moscow. Part of our pre-flight training involves going to these labs, sampling all of the more than 75 different menu items and several beverages, and uh, ranking our personal choices on which ones uh, we like uh, the best. The nutritionists uh, have um, decided that uh, it's important to give us a broad spectrum of all the nutrients that we need, but we also have some personal preference. And uh, when we select our, our food prior to flight, we can select uh, uh, special items that uh, have, have a special fondness for us. Yes, and then of course there are also the drinks. We also need to drink uh, here on board of the uh, ISS. 
breaking, of course, we cannot do uh, out of a cup because uh, in weightlessness, everything would just go out. So that's why we have this type of drinking bags. Uh, also inside, this is a chocolate drink, for example. It's some instant uh, chocolate uh, drink. And then we fill it up with water, and then we attach a small straw with actually a rock on the straw so that nothing keeps floating out and we can keep it well confined inside. And then we can just drink out of the straw like uh, out of an uh, ordinary bag.